Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to our channel, Balaji English Language Learners. This is Jyoti. I am back here with another video. Today we are going to know about the difference between simple past and past continuous. Before that, we are also going to see what is simple past and what is past continuous. Are you all ready? Are you all excited for the video? Yes, I hope yes. So now let me share the video. I mean the screen with you so that you understand everything in a better way. So is the screen visible to you? Yes. So this is the English class. Welcome to the world of English. Once again, the global language where it is almost and always very excited. The past tense. What is the past tense? What already happened or it is going on and which is going to happen in the future? Just tell me in the comment box which you felt it right. Pause it. Write in the comment box. Tell me the answer and then continue to watch the video. Balaji language learners. Balaji English language learners is our channel name. If you are watching this for the first time, please do like, share, comment and subscribe our channel. Please and please don't forget to share it with your friends in the social media. You can share it in the Facebook too. All the best. Have a nice day. Learn. Give knowledge. Learn knowledge. And also keep up the knowledge. So what is past tense? Let us see the past tense. What is past tense? If I say what is past tense, can you tell me what is past tense? Yes. Verbs which are used in the past tense indicates that the actions happened in the past. Those actions which already happened in the past comes under the past tense. And that particular past tense we are going to see only, only in, in a highlighted way like worked, smiled, loved. I can also give you a word like I cracked a joke, right? I can also give you a like I got a job, got. These are of four types as you already know we are going to see only the two types today one is simple past another is past continuous and what is simple past tense that simple past tense is referring to an action that was completed before the moment of speaking if you wanted the notes please make a note of it so that you understand in a better way whenever you want to revise you can just go through this particular notes which you are writing down as i already Said, always say right so now if i say it is in a positive sense i worked i smiled i laughed i wrote all this comes under v2 form of verbs which form of verbs v2 form of verbs this is a positive form if you see the observe the picture here this person particular person is having a load of work if he is carrying the work on his back that means he worked if he is not carrying i say it as he did not work what is that he did not work that is nothing but the past in the present we use do in the past we are using did i already told you please do remember when you're writing in a negative sense we add did and we use only the v one form of the verb we will not change we did not work wrong we write, we did not work. And if I say in an interrogative, questioning way, I say, did I work? It is in the positive sense. If I say in a negative sense, I say, didn't I work? So now, pause the video and in the comment box, do write simple past tense, another form of verb. Any form of the verb. You can use smile, you can use run, you can use something else. But use V2 form only for the simple past tense and again resume the video and listen to the class carefully now we are going to see the uses of the simple past tense this simple past tense is used to talk about a particular or a habitual action or a regular action which is in the past completely you used to do it in the past that comes under regular action for example they played football every day you can see here the picture of the two child or two children one particular child and the two particular child. Both, mainly I can say they, right? They. I am the third person, I am using the word they there. Right. They played football.
football every day almost every day they play football they used to play football i used I, without saying instead of saying that i used to i'm saying they play football every day so now to talk about an action which took place over a period of time in the past but now it is not going on now it is over that is also we are going to use in the simple past tense for example if i give you the sentence like we visited her yesterday we visited her yesterday yesterday is over we are not lo no longer going on today right we visited her yesterday clear then if we move on with an exact example here if you see the picture here you can see the london year oh wow what a beautiful picture right so she lived in london a long time ago a long time ago she lived in london live simple past that means this action took over a period of time in the past now it is not happening and another simple past tense uses is to form a reported speech like if you see the direct to indirect she said i am tired she said that she was tired who was tired is a high is she right so i am using here again she now present tense is converted to past i am using the helping verb of the auxiliary verb past right right i know if you also observe here that person in the picture the girl in the picture is very exhausted very tired she in the direct speech said that i am tired so i say she said that she was tired okay exhausted also you can use no problem correct then to make the polite request also we use the same thing for example i say i wanted to drive your bicycle i wanted to drive you a bicycle wanted again it is a v2 form if you observe here right and now past continuous we will move from simple past to past continuous so what is past continuous continuous tense continuous which is going on on and on and on when it is going on i use v1 plus ing form as you already no right i already told you in the previous sections right now if you see the past continuous tense indicates an action that was going on in the past clear yeah? if it is positive i say i was working first person i was working second person you were working plural right he was working she was working it was working we were working they were Okay. If the same thing, if you want to write in a negative sense, how we are going to write? I was not working. He was not working. She was not working. It was not working. You weren't working. You were not working. We were not working. They were not working. Now when we go on with the interrogative, nothing but was I working? Was he working? Was she working? was it working the same way you were working will we change it to were you working were we working were they working clear till here now the structure if you observe this is the most important part please make a note in your notebook this is the most important part okay here when you see the most important part it is right the subject plus was or were plus the past or sorry present participle nothing but the v2 form of the main verb and here if you also see here i also tell you it is divided again into a two particular forms singular and a plural form singular means i use was if it is plural i use were i was working late v2 form or v1 plus ing which is this one v1 plus ing very good you have to observe the carefully that only in simple past we are using v2 form in the continuous we always use v1 plus ing whether it is present past or future but if it is past continuous we are using the helping verb which is used or which is related to the past clear clear she was sleeping in the car they were looking they is plural i am using were we were we again plural i am using were you were talking to 
fast. I hope you have understood till here. If you have not understood, please get back to me in the comment section. Write which topic you have not understood and which topic you are in need. Where I can make a videos and send it to you so that you will be improving your more language speaking as well as the language writing skills. Now, when we move forward, let us have a look over the uses of the past continuous tense. Where do we use this past continuous tense? Why do we use? Where do we use? It's nothing but to describe an action that has started sometime in the past and was going on for a duration at that particular time. We use past continuous tense. Do you want to see an example? Yes, the example is he was playing all night. This is an action where you can observe that it was started before in the past and was going on for a particular time. In the past only that also he was playing all the night comes under the past continuous tense. To so make an action that had started some time in the past and was going on for a duration at that time. For that particular time it is going on. Started before, going on for that particular time also comes under the past continuous. For example, the policeman broke his ankle while he was running after the dog. When he was running after the dog, the policeman broke his ankle. Next. The third and the most important use of the past continuous tense is to show long-lasting actions when you are narrating a particular story. For example, the farmer was working in his farm. The farmer working in his farm is absolutely fine. But it was a last longing, right? Long lasting or last longing is one and the same here when you're narrating a particular story. I can see the farmers were working. The farmer was working in his farm or in their farms. Now let us have a look between the difference like simple past and past continuous. Where we are going to use simple past and where we are going to use past continuous. Simple past is used when the action that completed in the past and that is over or done or finished. We use simple past. For example, Sam went fishing last week. That is finished, completed. And now past continuous. That action which is in progress, which is going on, which is continuous. At that the particular point in the past or that action which is already continued for the longer time in the past, we use past continuous. For example, if I say the kids were studying last night at 9 p.m. The kids were studying last night at 9 p.m. This is particular thing where I have told you about the past continuous and the simple past. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have understood the class. If you have understood the class, please do like, share, comment and do not forget to subscribe if you are watching this for the first time and we have already reached the subscription level. We need more number of watch hours. Please do watch the videos, share the videos, like the videos and if you are struck in any, any, any part of the time, feel free to write a comment or leave a comment for me so that I will be able to revert you back with all your doubts. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. And hope to see you soon.